Hello, my awesome artists. Welcome to third quarter. It is the first week of third quarter. On Monday, we head off. Do you know why? If you're thinking, well, it was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, of course, you are correct. It was. And because of Martin Luther King Jr., I have a special project for you. Every, every grade is doing a different artist who had the same ideas as Martin Luther King. Some of them were inspired by Martin Luther King, while others he was inspired by. Ooh. So our artist this week for your grade is William H. Johnson. Ooh. He is an artist from a long time ago. He's no longer alive, and he makes some very interesting looking artworks. I have a short video for you to watch that tells you a bit about him, his history, what he creates and why he creates. And I'd like you to go watch that first and then come back here and we can start our project. Okay, so now that you've watched that little video, what do you think about him? What is your favorite part of how he makes his art? I like that he paints what he sees. And he does it in his own style. He doesn't let anyone else tell him how he should make it. He does it in his own style. And in art, that's very important to know that everyone has their own style. Not everyone draws, paints, sculpts exactly the same. So if your projects do not look like mine, that's your style. My style is my style. And so that is okay. We will be drawing in his style and I will show you step by step how to draw a person like he does, but then the background is all up to you. So here are some more uh, artworks they may have been in that video for you to see, maybe get some more inspiration on. I am inspired by this piece and this piece when I created mine. So this is as far as we will get this week. It is just, let's focus, a pencil drawing of a figure and the background. The figure I show you how to do step by step, and we're gonna try to do it the best we can in his style. The background is what I want you to get inspiration from, from a bunch of his artworks. So maybe look at one piece, say, ooh, I like those lines. I like how he did those trees, and you can add them in your own piece. So next week, we will finish these off, but this week it is just a pencil drawing. Let's get started. Remember, at any point in this video, you can pause it, you can rewind it, you could watch it all over again if you really want to. But I started this paper off by folding um, up and down and then side to side. So I had um, a vertical and a horizontal line. This will help me make a symmetrical drawing. A lot of his pieces uses quite a bit of symmetry, and so I wanted to make sure mine has that. So I started with an oval, two lines going down from the neck, my face, and you can pause this to copy the face if you need to. It is going a little fast. And the hair. If you would like to have long hair or short hair, you can change it up. If you'd like to have eyelashes, you can change that up as well. So now that we have the face done, it's time for the body. So I am doing the shoulders, which are rounded lines, with a line going in towards the body, then two lines going up for each arm. And this part is for sure the trickiest part. It is the hands and when they are holding and um, Johnson uses pretty big hands in his drawings and so it took me a couple tries to get hands that I liked because well this isn't my style so it was a little hard to do how he did it. So do your hands the best that you can. They don't have to be holded like folded together like mine are if you'd rather them just be to the side that works too. And so my person is a woman and she's wearing a dress. You could have them wear pants. And so this is the piece I'm inspired by for the background. Um, and so I have the wavy lines, I have rows of like the plants. You could go back in this video and find a photo of his that you like, pause it, 
and copy and get some inspiration for your background. Way to go. Your piece should be this far. It should not be further than this. I want to see them even though they're not totally finished. So take a photo of it and send it to me on Google Classroom. I can't wait to see it. I hope you had fun. Bye.